Assalamu alaikum, my dear student. I am Dr. Noreen Khan, lecturer of Biochemistry Department. Uh, I will start new topic. Uh, the topic name is diuresis. At first, the definition of diuresis. Diuresis can be defined as the formation of large volume of urine, more than 3 liter per day. So, diuresis can be defined as the formation of large volume of urine, more than 3 liter per day. This is diuresis. Diuresis we always presents with polyuria. Polyuria means presence of uh, more urine formation more, which is more than 3 liter per day. Now come to the point types of diuresis. There are three types of diuresis. Pressure diuresis, water diuresis, osmotic diuresis. At first we will discuss about the water diuresis. Water diuresis. It can be defined as the formation of large volume of hypotonic urine due to the presence of excess uh, water intake or there is a excess infusion of hypotonic fluid. So now come to the point mechanism of action of water diuresis. This is the mechanism of action of water diuresis. If anybody increased water intake there will be decreased plasma osmolarity and there will be decreased ADH secretion which causes decreased water reabsorption from the collecting duct. Then diuresis occur. So if anybody take more water or if anybody by, will infuse by more hypotonic fluid such as 5% dextrose in aqua then the patient will present with diuresis. There are some causes of water diuresis. Number one excess water intake. Number two infusion of hypotonic fluid such as 5% dextrose in aqua and number three diabetes insipidus. Diabetes insipidus it is a clinical condition which is characterized by the deficiency of antidiuretic hormone. Due to the deficiency of antidiuretic hormone the ability of antidiuretic hormone is to reabsorb water from the collecting duct but due to the deficiency the water reabsorption fail so water diuresis occur in case of diabetes insipidus uh, disease. Now come to the point second diuresis osmotic diuresis. This is osmotic diuresis mechanism. Osmotic diuresis it can be defined as the formation of large volume of hypertonic or isotonic urine due to the persistence excess unreabsorbed osmotically active solute in the filtrate. What are the osmotically active solutes? Glucose, sodium chloride, mannitol these are the osmotically active solutes. Now come to the point mechanism of action of the osmotic diuresis. This is the mechanism where there will be the excess unreabsorbed osmotically active solute in the filtrate then increase osmotic pressure in the filtrate which causes decreased water reabsorption from the tubule and quick attainment of the low limiting concentration gradient of sodium. Ultimately decrease sodium chloride and water reabsorption which causes diuresis. There are some causes of osmotic diuresis. Number one, uncontrolled diabetes mellitus. Number two, diuretic use in case of hypertensive patient and renal failure patient. And number three, mannitol infusion. Now come to the point of these three mechanism which causes di osmotic diuresis. In case of uncontrolled diabetes mellitus, tubular load of glucose is more than the transport maximum which causing or resulting the excess unreabsorbed osmotically active solute glucose in the filtrate. So, water di uh, osmotic diuresis occurs. Now, come to the point diuretic use. In case of diuretic use, there will be decreased sodium chloride reabsorption and which results unreabsorbed osmotically active sodium chloride pre uh, present in the filtrate which causes osmotic diuresis. And in case of mannitol infusion, if a mannitol infusion uh, in uh, the cerebral edema patient treatment then mannitol will be uh, present in the filtrate but renal tubule has no transport system for uh, reabsorbed mannitol. So unreabsorbed mannitol will be present in the filtrate which causes osmotic diuresis. So in case of osmotic diuresis huge amount of electrolyte loss occur. Uh, uh, among three type of diuresis, water diuresis, osmotic diuresis and pressure diuresis, in the osmotic diuresis you will get huge amount of electrolyte loss. Why? Because sodium chloride reabsorption occurs in the proximal convoluted tubule of the kidney against the concentration gradient. But 
due to the excess and reabsorbed solute in the filtrate osmotic pressure of the filtrate increase and decrease water reabsorption as a dilutional effect there will be low sodium concentration into the filtrate more sodium lost through the urine and there will be the limiting concentration gradient of sodium because sodium concentration in the tubular lumen of kidney and in the tubular cell there will be the concentration gradient difference which causes osmotic diuresis and huge electrolyte loss because sodium chloride also uh, electrolyte as a result of sodium chloride loss through urine there will be the huge electrolyte loss in the osmotic diuresis now come to the point pressure diuresis in the pressure diuresis there is a formation of large volume of urine due to the high mean systemic blood pressure more than 200 mm of mercury in case of more systemic blood pressure renal autoregulation fail and due to the failure of renal autoregulation there will be increased gfr and increased rapid outflow of the filtrate which causes increased tubular load of solute in the filtrate and decrease water reabsorption and sodium chloride reabsorption through the filtrate so there will be the pressure diuresis so there these are the three diuresis now come to the point difference between the water diuresis and osmotic diuresis in case of water diuresis we will get hypotonic urine and in case of osmotic diuresis we will get isotonic or hypertonic urine formation in case of water diuresis it occurs due to the excess water intake or excess hypotonic fluid infusion in case of osmotic diuresis it occurs due to the excess unreabsorbed osmotically active solute in the filtrate in case of water diuresis urinary osmolarity um, uh, uh, um, with urinary osmolarity ecf volume will be normal but in case of osmotic diuresis ecf volume will be decreased there will be hypovolemia in case of water diuresis water reabsorption from the proximal convoluted tubule will be normal but in case of osmotic diuresis it will be decreased and water reabsorption from the distal convoluted tubule will be decreased from both diuresis now come to the point poor interstitial hyper, uh, medullary hyperosmolarity in case of uh, water diuresis poor medullary interstitial hyperosmolarity occurs due to decreased urea deposition and in case of osmotic diuresis it, it occurs due to to decrease sodium chloride deposition in case of water diuresis there will be urine formation uh, more the um, um, maximum 23 liter per day but in case of osmotic diuresis it may exceed more than 23 liter per day adh concentration in case of water diuresis adh concentration will be decreased but in case of osmotic diuresis adh concentration means anti diuretic hormone concentration will be normal so this is the uh, uh, this is all about the diuresis at first we uh, learn about the definition types and all types cause definition mechanism of action so my diuresis topic is complete thank you all okay allah hafiz thank you